welcome back to another episode <laughs> of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. My name's Will. <laughs> what just happened? Um, I slurped down some water and didn't take a righteous bong hit. Guys, welcome to <laughs> the Hit Results podcast after the new year. I hope everybody oh God, had a fantastic holiday. It is it is 2020. It it's is. Dude, it is weird to think. Twice the that it's 2020. Uh, two, uh, I can see clearly now. You know we're what coming is, up on 3 years of doing this podcast. Woo, simmer down there, bud. I just I just laid down a nice marijuana joke. I think <laughs> this could be our last year. <laughs> just kidding, kids. It's the last episode. I don't do drugs, and nor should you. That was a bit to make Kevin uncomfortable. It worked. Perfect. All right. Guys, welcome to our Theros Beyond Um, Death episode. I feel like we have more to talk about before you just run over that intro like a mofo. We We usually have another thing to say. We usually talk about Patreon, but I don't think we have any new patrons. We don't. You're right. No, actually, we might have one. Allow me to look while you stall. So I this is a plea to the audience of it resolves our mm. it resolve knots the it resolvesters the the it the resolution all of you guys can we <laughs> we need to think of better jokes for 2020 other than oh perfect vision because I like made one earlier and yeah. hated myself as you should like earlier in this podcast moments yeah. ago yeah yeah. Um, so we need all I'm saying, this is a plea. Help me help you. Let's help each other. Let's think of some better comedy guys together. We can do it. Hey, we do have one new patron. Who is it? Do you have a word ready? Um, 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 yeah. Hayden Foster. The incomparable. Oh, which is a cop out. Cause that means they can't can't be described. (laughs) Hayden, you enigma. You enigma you. Uh, I didn't... uh, So, new thing with Patreon. Yes. Uh, I kind of did this and didn't tell you. I don't care. Sorry about it. So, our $10 tier uh, needed some Um, Mm reevaluating. So, here's what we did. Also, I put an article about this on our website, so you can check it all out there and get more details. But we were intentionally trying to solve two problems. Mm -hmm. One, we wanted to get new proxies out there without... Just like oh, right. blindly throwing up new tiers. Yeah. That's uh, true. Because then it just looks like we're money grabbing for more crap. And like, that's not what we want to do. So we're trying to do the best we can to keep it within our current structure. But then on top of that, we also had a lot of people asking about like past proxies. Could they get the past proxies if we still had them in stock? That kind of a thing. Okay. So I came up with an ingenious solution. Oh, tell us. Mostly because our $10 tier was previously set to do like. If, if somebody pledges at that tier, they get to record gameplay with us. A few people, like, pledged at that tier, and we certainly appreciate you guys. Definitely. Uh, but a lot of people, like, ran into the issue where we either don't have time, not us, they either don't have time like or together, they don't our have... Like, schedules didn't work. Yeah, okay. like, or their infrastructure's not there to record the gameplay and that kind of a thing. So, like, Dang. Okay. we were running into that issue a few times. And so we decided to value up the $10 tier a little bit. It's still at $10, but now... Oh. What you get uh-huh. if you pledge it the ten dollar tier yes, 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 yes. is a mystery proxy. Now here's okay. the deal: this can be anything from like a, a proxy related to one of the newest sets coming out, or okay. it can be like we released the dual lands out okay. on the website and stuff like that. It could yeah. be one of those. It could be a lot of things. This is like our mystery box grab bag kind of thing. So it's not necessarily mm-hmm. tied to a particular card frame like the previous tiers. This could be anything. Okay. Uh, on top of that, by request, you can send us a message and you can say, hey, instead of that mystery proxy, what I'd love to do is receive Thanks. Elish Norn, uh-huh. something that we've already given out. Uh-huh. Uh, so if you did miss one, this is your opportunity to get that. Mm. Uh, just by direct message, you can just email us, message us anywhere. And do they can do that think. every month. They can do that every month. Uh, now that is while supplies last. We are not doing reorders of uh, past proxies, things sure. like that. Yeah, so yeah. just keep in mind that is while supplies last. If there is a particular one you want, I would highly suggest doing it sooner rather than later. Some okay. of them we are kind of down on, uh, as in we've only got a few left. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, but that does kind of fix all of our problems with one fell swoop. Every That's problem. The goal. Every problem. 
every major problem. We've still got plenty of other problems. I still have diabetes. Uh, I just checked. But yeah, so that's how our Patreon has now been restructured. Uh, that's cool. So uh, enjoy that, I guess. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Good idea. So we're going to talk about Beyond Death. Oh, baby! Uh, before we Finally. do that, we have our random card of the day. Spin that random I'm so excited. wheel. Flip it. The first one of 2020 first time in this three. decade. That's crazy. Is a is a <laughs> just a fat little fucker. It's what? just a, a chunky little boy. He's a bloated toad. Uh, Don't wow. hate it. From Urza's legacy. I so don't hate it. It's a two two for two and a green. I don't uh, hate it. I don't hate it either. Protection it. from blue, uh, and then it has cycling for two of any color. So you can uh, pay two, discard this, and draw a card. You can do that as an instant, which yep. is very nice. I don't hate um, it. I, I kind of don't hate it either. It's not terrible, <laughs> especially considering this was Urza's legacy. Like during that time, I have to imagine creatures were not like amazing. Wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I mean, this I, is I don't a, hate it. I don't, yeah, I, I mean, it's fine. It's, fine. it's only fine. legal in like legacy and vintage, which, which it will never get played there. Right. Unfortunately. Um, but drafting it, I would have like been okay with it. Yeah, like a random upside three drop. Sure, I'm fine with it. That's fine. Yeah. It's not super exciting, but yeah. it's a card. I'm not. And know, it's just it's a big useful, old boy. Play it if not cycle it. I don't hate it. It's go. fine. Um, whatever. All right. You want to talk about good cards now? Yeah, let's All do right, that. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> there's a bunch. Holy crap! There's okay. kind of just a basket load. There are. So there's okay. A lot. Preface God, this: Theros beyond God. death. Theros beyond death. Theros. You have the mic like twisted backwards. What happened? What I... did you do? Don't Dude, worry about it. Just Don't touch my mic. You just you gotta you gotta do that. Um, okay, so <laughs> this set, uh, I believe, is set to release on January twenty fourth. If I'm not mistaken, pre-release weekend is obviously the 18th. Are you? What are you doing? What? Don't worry about it. Um, um, yeah. Uh, lots of really awesome stuff in this. We'll, of course, yeah. do a box opening and stuff when the time comes. Yeah. But I'm going to um, miss pre-release weekend. I don't know if I am yet. I um, know for a fact I am. And I'm are you really? About it. Oh. Yeah. This seems like a really fun set. So, like, I am kind of oh, looking forward yeah. to it. Um, lots of really cool stuff, obviously. A uh, lot of expected, re not reprints, but cards or characters that we expected to see back including the sort of mono gods um sort of sort of <clears throat> I, I didn't i didn't know i wasn't 100 percent that elspeth is coming back oh i wasn't 100 percent that well i mean the trailer but other th until then yeah. who the fuck watches the trailers hey if you've watched the trailer put a comment in the who comment the section and just hey, be like hey no just bring it in on me kev <laughs> Who, what are you doing? No, there's other quality videos on YouTube. Don't watch the trailers. It was a not bad trailer. Fuck you, Kevin. It wasn't bad. No, it's we until we get our magic movie. I don't want to watch a TV or a Netflix series. I keep forgetting about that. I mean, it's an animated Russo Brothers series, though. That should be fun. I forgot entirely about that. Yeah, that's happening. And I was really excited about it, but I've put it on the back burner. Well, it's not going to come out yet, so it'll be a little while. I know. I know. <laughs> I've just been uh, binging The Mandalorian, so I'm not like... Ah, I see. I'm not in. I understand. You know? I've been binging, not to get off topic, not that this care. never I happens. I um, I've been just like watching the Out of the Vault channel on Disney+, Plus, uh, where it's just like all the old classic movies. Yeah, we're it's straight. It's so fun. What's up? Dude, yeah. I watched Bambi last night. It was great. <laughs> like, yeah, what's up? What's fuck that? off. That movie's delightful. Yeah, I just saw Frozen 2 in theaters a few days ago. Dude, same. How good is Frozen 2? Anyway. It's okay. I liked it. Like, are we gonna... <laughs> All right, we're gonna... It's okay. Like, I don't know. It's, uh, it seemed way more campy than the first one, which I didn't love. Yeah, it was definitely a little more Olaf campy. Olaf is a shining star yeah, in everyone's hearts. Um... Just a little campy. Well, I didn't love the '80s love ballad from from Kristoff. Like, yeah, you're gonna waste Kristoff's song on a freaking like George Michael song. Get yeah, out of here! Fine. No, hated it. Not the movie, just the song. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I give it a solid uh, six snowballs out of ten. <laughs> Music Let's move was, to spoilers. Um, so we do know. have all five of the mono gods. Uh, yeah. They are back. Um, Would you say the rest of the set 
uh, if we were to speculate on it, we'd be venturing uh, into the unknown a little bit? Or do you think we can talk with uh, confidence about the rest of the set that we don't know about yet? What would you say? What do you what would you say? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the the flagship song from Frozen Two is called Into the Unknown. Oh, you oh fucker! God, what forgot. are you talking about? Okay, Magic? Heliod, Sun Crowned. Oh uh, yeah, this is okay. This is the one most people are talking about right now with Walking Ballista. <laughs> uh, it does kind of instant win. Yeah, uh, it's I, pretty sweet. I think this is probably the god with the most legs outside of like not in standard necessarily, yeah. but I think outside of standard probably this one. Um, Although I will say sleep, not sleeper, but perforos. Uh, we talked about this before we jumped yeah, yeah, into yeah, this, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. essentially that's like kind of a fixed sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, and that obviously it's going to cost a lot more to get them out. You but know what? It's a really sweet card. You know what? Um, you can slap down a lot of boys actually uh, with Perforos. So yeah. Uh, technically you get two activations, right? Uh, uh, if you hit another land drop, effectively. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So assuming. You only need one, honestly, but one activation. Raise board, attacking. Mm-hmm. After that, I think it's on crop crasher. No, it's not. It's the. That was an Amon cat card. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Pioneer. Yeah. Um, he's the green guy. He puts down creatures if he's exerted. You can't use it for green stuff. I know, but the Is raise board also? lets you put. Nope. Oh, no. oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You know, so you change yes, some so you activations. Change. I see what you're saying. You okay, see, yeah, you see what yeah, I'm yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that seems sweet. I mean, I think that there's a lot of, mm-hmm. like, legs for Perforos long term because there's a yeah. lot of just really strong red cards that you can do yeah. some sweet stuff with. Magic um, Christmas Land, you can get, like, three creatures out in a turn for yeah. three mana. Absolutely. And that would be sweet. Win. You that's, win. The, that's the goal. Um, Nylia, just fine. Like, a pretty standard green effect on nalia i don't think it's like amazing by any means but it gives you some filtering it's fine yeah i don't love it um erebos we were talking about this again uh he's it's probably like, the best for standard I think. yeah because he probably. fits so well into aristocrats but you were mentioning like you lose a lot of life if you continuously use him well well along with other cards uh, right so we were thinking uh midnight reaper yeah midnight reaper um mm. is the only one off the top of my head that had uh because i studied for this episode um <laughs> i the, you need a little more synergy i think for sac yeah. effects to make it really good the yeah. only two i thought of was midnight reaper and um the what is it honored knight venerable knight the one drop that gives you yeah, a plus one yeah. when it dies um, two other knights exclusively so like I well but like think of this with like cauldron or uh yeah cauldron familiar that combo like is there something there where you can just repeatedly sack the the cauldron familiar, get life somehow? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, only if you can get like better food recursion, probably. Yes. So, like, if you have cauldron familiar, which is of an uh, Erebos, that's yeah. okay. That's decent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because every time you sack cauldron familiar, um, you get the food then but see the the issue is you're st- it doesn't fix you the life problem yeah, yeah, yeah um necessarily now i'm not saying that it stems the bleeding a slight bit because the cauldron familiar coming in gains you a life yeah you're right but like that's still just stemming the bleed like that's not fixing the problem it's just right. offsetting it a little bit but it is better than paying two life yeah. for every you know and netting two life yeah. for every damage so no, i don't i i uh. Uh, there has to be a bigger payoff, I think. Cause I'm I don't sure think, there is somewhere. I don't think black wins in this standard just by draining stuff. Yeah. Honestly, because you're outclassed by most green decks anyway. Yeah, green decks um, just run you over at this point. Like, and honestly, I made a shitty mono red list and threw it on Arena <laughs> and like walked through Cauldron <laughs> Familiar decks. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, I, I crippled some black green yeah. just by like killing their big boys when they came in. Yeah. Because you just... In this standard, you don't need to uh, waste, like, so, okay, you don't need to waste burn on their face, mm-hmm. because you can just answer one for one, because we have Secure the Critics. Uh, we have another three damage spell, we have Shock, and we have the Giant. Yeah. So, like, the package of targeted burn is mm-hmm. so good. Uh, 
black green doesn't get anything really yeah. that can beat that That's honestly true. you just have a bunch of cheap creatures weaselback red crap what weaselback red cap honestly <laughs> constructed is way better than people think <laughs> because if you swing in uh with just a bunch of uh, a pumped team in a way but leave weaselback red cap alone yeah they have to block like red cap yeah because you have the threat of damage and then you're trading for a thing and you have all this other damage Anyway, all I'm saying, red's still pretty good, guys. Yeah. Um, red's pretty good still. Uh, where were we? Oh, so uh, Erebos. Yeah. He needs some more legs, and that might come with more things in the set. We're not done with spoiler season. Exactly. So we'll see. Um, um, I'm not sold that he's going to be, like... The most amazing thing in the yeah, world. Yeah. Yeah, no, sold. I get that. I love the art on him, though. <laughs> the way his whip comes around, I think that's sweet. Yeah, you would like that. That's cool. Uh, Thassa, Deep Dwelling. You disgust me. Fuck off. Uh, Thassa Deep Dwelling. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I'm pretty sure I saw a combo with her, but I'm just like, eh. She's like... Not super excited She's like really all right. Yeah, I mean, she's that's like it. She's like real okay. Yeah. She's like... She's got one more piece of gum, and you're like, hey, Thassa, can I have that? And she like rips it in half for you. <laughs> like, I'm refreshed. Yeah. Minty freshed. But I could have been more refreshed. You are cutting the half-life of my gum in half. It's a quarter life of gum. Look at that being scientific. I like it. That's right. Um, So, yeah, new gods. Mm -hmm, Pretty, mm -hmm. I mean, some of them are really sweet. Some of them are meh. Um, Okay, but is Heliod only good with walking ballista? Let me just venture that out real quick. Let me walk that line. Can you play in that? (sighs) Is, no, I mean, there are other, so... You're saying outside of straight up just comboing because there yes. are other creatures that combo with it technically. Um, but whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one, one counter target creature or enchantment you control. I mean, in like a... Why? I don't know that it's worth it in like Can Soul Sisters. Stupid question. Yeah. Why are you putting 1-1 one, one counters on enchantments? Enchantment creatures. Right, but it says creature or enchantment. Why are you oh. putting them on enchantment? Oh, no. Actually, there was another combo with an enchantment and I don't remember what it is. There is a enchantment that you can put one one counters on. I don't remember what it is. Okay. Um, then I haven't. I there haven't, is a thing there. I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I don't remember what it is, but I do okay. remember seeing it. I mean, okay. in like a the the only way to like kind of try and break it without comboing and winning immediately would mm-hmm. be in like a Soul Sisters deck where you're just gaining a ton of life. But who cares? In that yeah. deck, like I don't think you want. I mean, it's fine. It's an indestructible threat, which is cool. But like a five five for. Three. for three very good it's pretty but good. like i i don't know i mean i guess you play it there i but that's kind of it it's like a very specific card don't worry about it dude you were just having all kinds of trouble you're speaking into it sideways just so you know no you fixed it for there you shit go. um but yeah so i mean i think it's good there but uh, outside of that it's just kind of fine yeah i don't think it's amazing um it's cool that it like gives something else lifelink which is fine but like you have to pay a lot of mana to do it to a lot of creatures like that's not that's yeah. you know, not really where yeah. you want to be yeah um so no outside of that i'm not stoked on it all right um that's fine you want to talk planeswalkers <sighs> yeah i know i don't love them i don't love them either so what do you not love about them kev <sighs> The Elspeth just the seems like a much worse Elspeth. Like it just in comparison yeah, she's to the previous. Bad. Yeah, I mean she's good, but she's no, like, she's not. Well, I'm speaking on like limited perspective here. She's definitely good and limited because it's a playable card and limited. But like, yes, I'm sorry, I think about limited a lot. No, hold on. Outside like, of that, it's very bad though. Yeah, unless okay. you're doing like a go wide thing, but like. Two well, I mean, okay, well, white so, like, who? That's not. It doesn't do. I, it's cool that it. She escapes. I think that's cool, mostly because it's on theme for Elspeth. But like, other than that, yeah, no, I'm with it's you. It's not that exciting. I don't think it does no. all that much. No. Um, n- uh, Ashiok Nightmare Muse, kind of the same way. Like, it's fine. Um, yeah, I think she's better. I'm not saying she like wins. She doesn't just like win a, on her own. No, and there's not like a... You can't really compare them as a matchup, but um, I like Ashiok's uh, middle ability more. 
um, where it bounces and then they discard. Yeah, I yeah. like it a lot. Uh, it's, it's a, a cool, cool tempo ability. play. Yeah, yeah. Um, to bounce a god and then have them exile a card is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, it's better than just discarding stuff because then they don't get to escape with it. That yeah, other card. So yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool. Um, so I like New Ashiok again. Don't love her. I think even our uh, War of the Spark Ashiok might be better because she exiles yeah, the entire I mean, yard. Well, and she shuts <clears> down <throat> like fetches and stuff like that, like anything where right. you're searching. Um, right. Like, which is, I think those are niche abilities, but they're very strong niche abilities, if that makes sense. Like, sure. I mean, the cards with search effects kind of need them, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, the decks, I mean. No, I understand what you mean. But. Um, yeah so both of the planeswalkers i'm not super stoked on the no, escape mechanic though i will say the escape mechanic i'm is in great. for the escape mechanic escape now is great it varies on like how powerful it is based on how many cards have to be in the graveyard for you to sure. do it like it's sure. a little weird that way some but are four some are five some are eight yeah so, like they yeah. jump around a good bit but i do really like that mechanic i just yeah. think that that's just it's like reanimator built in like that's really sweet but there's yeah. also you know more utility to it so yeah. i'm super stoked about that yeah um i honestly any card with escape i'm like okay it's I'm, just better delve right like well sort of sort of sort of because i mean i lost my train of oh so i mean it comes <laughs> it comes with like perks for doing it right yeah there's to my knowledge no card except for uh mm, he was in pioneer he exiled stuff when you delved you get all his keywords he's big oh the demon guy that is Sooth- soul slayer soul <laughs> soul, soul flare. flare soul flare that one. uh f- apart from him there's no card i don't believe that you can delve and get benefits from from delving right it's just a different casting cost. right so this stuff um, you delve and get better for it yeah so, essentially this is delve though like that's a bit in a way you still like, have your fixed mana cost <laughs> yeah it's usually a lot yeah but yeah, yeah. um it's well, just not always the titans have an increased yeah. escape cost but yeah we'll elspeth get... has an increased escape cost as well oh excuse um, me you're right <clears throat> uh <throat> as far as other cards that were really like kind of stoked about i'm really stoked about so dryad of Elysian, Elysian, Elysian Elysian Grove, uh, just Elysian. seems like a really solid, perfectly great Greek card. Um, like yeah. two, four for three, I'm in. You can play yeah. additional land per turn. Super in. All of your lands are all basic land types. Super, super in. Like that yeah. just does everything you need it to do. And like generally speaking, yeah. it'll probably hit Commander more than anything else because this is like this just has Commander written all over oh, it in my opinion. Never mind. Do what? Uh, uh but you're right. It's like green is. It's just like, a sweet card. Standard like, as well, though. Um, better or worse than Course of Crucifix? Uh, mm, ooh, that's a good question. I know, because that's kind of like this set's coarser. It know? is kind of like this set's coarser. That's a two four. So coarser. Is it a two four or two three? I forget. I think it's a two four. Um, so coarser is really cool because it lets you play him from the top of your deck. There if she I'm is. not mistaken. There um, she is. Yeah. Uh, yes, playing from the top of your deck and you and gain, you gain a life, life, but you right. don't get the fixing that this provides, and you don't p- play an additional one, right? You just can play him from the top. Uh, Is yeah, that right? I believe that's correct too. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I think they kind of go in. No, they don't necessarily go in different decks, but like mm-hmm. this not. fits into an all color deck really, really well. Um, it's like a green base green base but like certainly just a ramp all color deck like mm-hmm. this is perfect because it's just hitting all your lands into anything you lands know? do not count for devotion right no they do not okay um but i really like this card i don't know if it's better than courser um i'm not sure i like the fact that you can play from your deck with courser uh because that gives you again i'm thinking like yeah old not necessarily in standard but like things like courser fast bond sweet combo oh, you know what i'm saying okay but how many of these people have played with fast bond hey, like, have you guys played with fast bond uh, let us know well it's i guess you can play it in commander but still well like, you play it i mean like the vintage cube is up right now it's in the vintage cube you know like people play online no yeah i think mtg is thriving <laughs> it is honestly pioneers Actually, helped it it's a lot. doing okay um, Pioneers helped it a lot but yes. like i don't play vintage i don't care about it do you play like cube with me all the time it's not vintage i know but i'm just saying right your cube is lots of fun i love it fast buttons in the cube i know and coarser however yeah i just like 
Okay, uh, Idyllic Tutor is also in. I like good magic. <laughs> I like good magic. Okay? I like broken stuff. It's way more Yeah, fun. I know. Um, I like good magic. Idyllic Tutor. Search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Oh! What? I don't like it. Why not? It just gets enchantments. Oh, I guess that's true. It's, it's worse than only enchantments by a long and way. I, I, right, exactly. And Although I, I will say it puts it into your hand, which is kind of puts nice. Puts it in your hand, and there's enchantment creatures in this set. Yes. I understand. It's good for the set. Good for the set, but it's three mana and a sorcery. Yes. And it puts it... Well, no, it's better. So, like... Yep. I, I mean, it's good for the set. That's my thing. It's flavorful for the set. That's a little mummy but that's that's a joke for you food nerds out there <laughs> did you see what i did i said umami it's the lost taste oh that <coughs> that asian cuisine introduced to us oh so you know kev i'm so happy about that yeah it's like a rich kind of taste you know hey do you want to talk about your kraken oh <laughs> you mean uh nadir kraken He's near and nadir to my heart. Um, so <laughs> this card's pretty cool. Um, it's a fun card. Whenever you draw a card, you can pay a mana. If you do, put a counter on your Why? Yadir Why Kraken. You, say mana? <laughs> you pay a mana because I'm talking about my you sweet pay boy. A mana. <laughs> my sweet boy, uh, Kelly the Kraken. Yes. Um, and if you do, if you pay that mana, you get him a little bigger. And you make him a little tentacle friend. Oh, I love tentacle friends. We are not. I just want to say this. Stop the podcast. Stop. Everybody, PSA. We are not making hentai jokes about this card. <laughs> Nobody is allowed. I'm declaring it. Nobody's allowed to make hentai jokes about this card. If you do, fuck you. You're disgusting. <laughs> You feel very strongly about this. I just thought about it. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a good card, okay? He's he's so young. <laughs> he's so young. He's so young. We don't need to expose him to the to the to the internet yet, just yet. To the, you know, the, <clears throat> the ooky spooky part of it. Uh, sagas are back. Yeah. Yeah. Does is anybody actually excited? Some there were some good sagas. There Overall, were some good ones. Like, cool cards. Yeah, they're very cool. cool. A good idea for I cards. I like them. Um, I'm not like. There's not one that I'm like. Oh, this card's amazing. Like I'm sure there's right. some good ones, and there will be some very good ones in standard. I'm sure, but like not at this current time. Am I super stoked about any of them? Agreed. 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 Um, agreed. 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 Oh, actually, I wanted to talk about this counter spell really quick. Uh, oh, whirlwind, whirlwind denial. denial. I think it that was. So well timed. Uh, instant for two and a blue. Uh, yeah. For each spell and ability your opponent controls, counter it unless mm -hmm. its controller pays four. Uh, so the obvious thing here is that it stops storm. Yeah. Uh, obviously not in standard. That's great. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I'll say again, we were talking about this before the show. I think this is just like a good counter. Yeah. Like this is right. just, especially in limited. Uh, I think this is a great counter. I think it's standard. It's fine as well. Um, the reason being, it is a three mana counter, but it's a little bit easier to cast than cancel. <coughs> um, and on top of that, they're having to pay four. Right. That's not like that's insignificant. not insignificant. That's you know, if mm -hmm. you're playing this on turn three, they will not have four. Obviously, mm -hmm. like there's no way they can. So. I really like this card. I no. think it was a decent counter. They had to have played something for if, you to counter it. They went, in which case, they wouldn't have four. If they went first, well, no, I guess you're right. Like, yeah, they could land a war elf into you know some other good stuff, could but they had to drop. use some of that mana to play it. Could thing. have been a one mana ability. Why would you counter a one mana thing? Because <laughs> you lose. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Heliod's shit <laughs> in green That's white. True. You know. Um, well, all I'm saying is it's a sweet counter. Yeah, but you're technically incorrect. Pardon the fuck out of me. I have nothing for that. Okay. Um. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Moving on. We'll talk about the gold cards now. Oh, I love it. Because that's where the tasty bits are. <laughs> We've already yeah, talked honestly. about Ashiok. Who do you want? Who's your favorite? Um, Dude. Honestly, I don't know. 
Uh, I really like the Titans. Okay. Uh, uh, both of them yeah. are really sweet. Um, okay. I realized. Never mind. Continue. Sorry. What did you realize? I'll tell you later. Continue. All right. Um, I really do like both of the Titans. They're both in a weird place where you play them and then immediately sacrifice them, but then you can escape later. Right. That's um, kind of the draw. That's the thing. Right. And then on top of that, just them entering the battlefield, mm-hmm. which they still do, even if they have to sacrifice it immediately, uh, they do give you some kind of ability. So yeah. like, I feel I think there's a lot of value. I there. feel like they valued their ability at like the mana cost of the creature is naturally. Yes. And then the creature itself at the escape cost, um, factoring in like the five cards you exile. It's the escape itself is stupid. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Like four mana, the CMC. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all for you complete, but the mana cost for escaping is yeah, bonkers. It's ridiculous. For a Titan, like a Titan yeah. creature. I mean, they're both six sixes, which is pretty huge. I mean, they're, they're Titans by every category. They have an attack and enter ability <laughs> and they're six six yeah like exactly what more do you want uh they're really really sweet uh yeah. i do like them quite a lot mm-hmm. uh i'm interested to see how they play out in standard just like what decks specifically that they landed uh simic mother simic obviously simic <laughs> is back baby yeah, meets back simic on the menu a boys a lot better um like the other card though that i'm stupid like, good you thought you could kill simic before nope yeah this sorry is pretty sweet nothing well this also so like the simic flash deck for instance like uh-huh. simic flash is not where i would initially put the simic titan necessarily because it's not like a flash card. absolutely not yeah but my thing is you're going to be filling up your graveyard with all these like cheap counters and stuff like that so you're going to be able to escape fairly easily which gives you an out to but one of the most important turns for that deck is four. Oh, you're right this is yeah, frilled mystics true. cost so well, this is a three drop. Yeah, right, but you're, you're saying the escape. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah to yeah. get your six six creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I know. see. That makes so, sense. So maybe it doesn't end up there. I I'm just mm-hmm. thinking of like how you can get things in the graveyard that are like useful, th- like sure. cards, that, instant sorceries, that kind of a thing, yeah. and then be able to to pan this out somehow. I think the simic food or simic aggro. Yeah, simic control, whatever. I think it's got to play a little more honest, so play things like opt, mm-hmm. uh, some counters, yeah, um, it's just th- some cheap interactions, yeah, stuff things that would spells. go in the yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's fair to get like the best use out of this because not a lot's going to hit the yard. Yeah, you still get your goose, you still get your wolf. Yeah, um, I think you can play one to three mystics in that deck if you want from mystics. Yeah, probably. like that's fine and yeah. still work with this. I just think for the Simic Flash deck in and of itself, that's too counterproductive to what they want to do. That's fair. Um, however, like, yeah, it would still be a good card. In I was going to say, I mean, it's still right. going to be fine. Like, um, yeah, if they get to escape with it, it's still like a big problem for you. Yes. So no, absolutely. I think um, I think it could go. It's just not at its peak optimal level. And then uh <coughs> I'm dying, it's okay. Croxa? I'm still fighting a cold. Croxa? Who? The Death's Hunger. Um, you know what? I'm gonna say something <laughs> fucking bold. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Croza. Oh it's Croza. <laughs> yeah. All right. That one. We're doing it. I'm not willing to commit that it's Croza, but Croza. I'll say it's... Who's to say I'm wrong? The guy who made it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck him. The <laughs> person? <laughs> How sexist. <laughs> what do they do? Uh, so I really like this and just like a, a control or like value deck. Like I sh- forgot what it did. You forgot what it did. Oh, discard a card. If they can't, they lose three? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. That's just such good value. <laughs> like For two mana, heck for yeah. For two mana, I'm super in for that. Like Jund or Grixis is or whatever. Is it like, can't? Uh, whenever it, it enters the battlefield yeah. or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent uh, who didn't discards a non-land card. Or excuse me. That didn't discard a non-land card this way uh, loses three life. Yeah. So there's just like. Oh, so they can't pitch lands. Well, it incentivizes them not to pitch lands, we'll say because sure. um, they technically can they just also then take three so like that's just great discard like that's super yeah. solid like honestly just for like forget it's a creature for a second okay a black and a red for that ability yeah like i'm cool. kind of in for it like that's cool. yeah you don't get to pick the card but mm-hmm. either way it's pretty heavily 
waited for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's that's pretty not, sweet. It's not awesome at sorcery speed. No. It's not great. It's not as good as like Thought Eraser because you do get to choose the card and I think that's right. Better. And it's also be it being black red is kind of a detractor. Yeah. Um, it's a little strange. You don't get to play it as often statistically. Mm. Um so I still like him though. I like I like it a um, lot. I like it a lot. I think it's a really yeah. good card. I think it's sweet. Uh, do you want to talk here about your hound? My puppy. Let's this not. This card's stupid. Guys. Let us not skip Pelucranos. Oh, sorry. Good card. Next, um, <laughs> the the puppy. What's his name? Kuronos. Kuronos. Kino- Ki- Kiron- Kuronos. Kinoros. K cup puppy over here. <laughs> uh, hound of Aetheros. <laughs> K dog, K dog, K dog, Hound of Atlanta. Uh, it is a three three Cerberus doggy. Um, Vigilance menace lifelink. Uh, it kills escape. By the way, yeah. Uh, it's static ability. Players can't cast spells from graveyards. Okay, well that is good. Yeah, everywhere. It's just stupid. It's good dude. everywhere. Like, I guess just... not vintage or legacy technically, but like. Well, it's honestly, I mean, you don't cast you don't three mana cast spells. It nece- well, you do, but like, yeah, three mana you, creatures. You have to like power this out on turn one somehow to make it amazing. But yeah. like, against Reanimator, like, but Reanimator does it on turn one in like Vintage, so it's kind of Vintage is good. Vintage is fun. Play Vintage. If you're not holding Forceville, you lose. That's not true. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, really this do is, like the hound though. Very sweet yeah, card. Yeah, this is great in standard. Um, yes, honestly, without the static like graveyard abilities, mm-hmm. just a three three with vigilance, yeah. menace, and lifelink four three, super in. Yeah, the fact that it hits the graveyard so well though is amazing. Like it's yeah. just super good. Fantastic. Uh, Esper control, I feel like is gonna love the sideboard this or something like that. Yes, um, but I think the if it has support, mm-hmm. the aristocrat deck will like it as well because um, oh. I don't think you'll get to play escape stuff in that deck really realistically. But you fill your yard, yeah. But like, <clears throat> what other than Elspeth are you escaping for right now? Not yeah, that's fair. Um, that's definitely fair. <laughs> Um, but yeah, do really, really love the hound. Uh, speaking of Athreos, uh, how do you feel about Athreos? Meh. Yeah. Super meh. Both of the multicolor gods, I'm just kind of meh about. Uh, I forgot already. You forgot already? Oh, put the coin counter. If they die, yeah, you get them. Yeah, yeah, These effects have been around for a while. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, I don't know. Great commander card. Yeah, great commander um, card. But I'm just, n- I'm not sold that it's good. Yep um yeah i'm gonna well okay i've got two more cards that i want to talk about but really quick i'm just gonna jump down to the lands we got the new the temples reprinted woo yep we also got pokemon energies in the set so that's exciting. yeah um, i don't hate them they're like really them. pretty they're very pretty they're very well done but uh there's definitely like just I'm, pokemon I energy. Am, i am 100 <laughs> percent going to play with some pokemon energy um, are you really just to just to fuck with them yeah yeah i'm not the cards are different thicknesses you can't uh, i see and you can't at a sanctioned event but i mean just for fun just for funsies um who would stop are me cool i like them a whatever. judge would stop me that's that's the answer um i'm the- gonna save that for last nick's lotus uh two big old thumbs up for devotion um yeah i like it it's very very sweet it's a real does that does that work it's a real good card <laughs> it's a real good it's a it's a real good card it's not as good as nykthos it's not like no no no. at four man it's a little tricky and it comes into play tapped. enters tapped not great it's a but good it's a real good ramper. card so yeah. picture this uh sideboard this against great henge decks and you still have a fighting chance against great henge decks uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much standard you've played right now. Uh, honestly, not a ton. So the Great Hinge is a bitch of a card. Yeah. Um. It may it takes green decks that are like barely holding on and just whoop, wins. Yeah. Uh. It helps them out a ton. Yeah. Life gain, pumping dudes, giving two mana. Yeah. Uh. All that's nuts. Wouldn't you like to be able if you can refill your hand if you're an aggressive deck if you can refill your hand and have more stuff to play a la Experimental Frenzy. It's good. Gruel Aggro with Experimental Frenzy works now with this card. Yeah. I believe. 
I believe, because you're going to have a bunch of extra mana. Um, <clears throat> so I think this is great. I think this plays really well against Great Henge decks. Um, however, it also plays really well with Great Henge decks. So it's kind of <laughs> like... Catch-22. Tricky. Yeah. 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 So, uh... I don't know. I'm interested to see if it does I think well it's or good. not. I think it's fine in the Devotion I think it's decks. a good magic card. Um... I think it's slow, but I think it's... it's a, that's my only hiccup with it, is I that it is I think it's a slow. check on the meta that is necessary right now. I'm cool with that. That's what I will... That's what I'll, Anything that's we can do to say. avoid a million bannings again would be great. I think uh, we're in a healthy spot right now. I don't think I anything think needs to okay. get banned. Yeah, yeah. Simic is going down. By Simic, I mean uh, mono green. Mm. Mostly mono green's going down and played. It's like 9% right now. Still the most played aggressive deck because green's still really good. Yeah. You got the giant dude for that's a four four that gets bigger <clears throat> Modern, green's just in a good spot yeah green's doing right all that being said a bunch of different cards can win yeah i mean decks damn it it's been a decade since we did this <laughs> uh, <laughs> i deserve that <laughs> uh the last card i want to talk about is the one i am most excited no i'm not wow uh, galia of the endless yeah. dance i was gonna say that is not on flavor for you no it's really not uh but i do think it's a cool card uh so Seder tribal okay I, it's just silly uh, yeah it's silly but i've seen a lot of people so stoked about this that i felt the, the need to only mention it. good satyrs are like boon satyr and fire drinker satyr uh satyr wayfinder digs you which it is, is good. good but not in like a satyr deck i think it's fine wayfinder doesn't deck. is it wayfinder oh it is wayfinder i'm thinking satyr of wayfinder's fine i'm thinking of the one that untaps lands it's not good in a satyr deck you know like satyr, satyr tribal yeah I mean, it digs you to more creatures, right? But like, it also it. pitches them down. Like, if you draw a bunch, you only get one. Oh, so I guess it's fine. But, like... I mean, it's just card selection. Like, that's to dig through a, for I another suppose. threat. Like, I'm cool with it. I don't think it's amazing. I it's suppose. just a... I guess with Boon Sader, it'd be nice. Because they turn like into engine, a 5 Not three? an engine, but a, you know... What's Boon Sader? 4-2? Uh, yeah. So it's a 5-3 with your little... With Flash? Yeah, that's good. Yeah okay um but yeah so he gives them all haste give him plus one plus one then gives you a little bit of card draw i like it uh just it's yeah. a cool satyr card that's all i think the art's just weird i don't i don't i don't love the face it's just so excited you know <laughs> just <laughs> she's that's like awesome. headlocked the other one and just like yeah, yeah dude um i just think it's get silly. it little satyr sister little love satyr it sister uh yeah uh oh also the reprint of field of ruin cool oh yeah thank that's you it. that's all i had to talk about thank you yeah it's just a good card um there are a lot of awesome cards in this set obviously we just touched on a few that we were most excited about mm -hmm. but like i actually am mm -hmm. really liking the way this set is shaping up uh agreed i'll be honest i was a little skeptical yeah well the i think the theros, theros taste yeah yeah i mean <laughs> you broke up with them in high school yeah but, he's but they've changed. grown up they've grown up i mean she's changed <laughs> <laughs> i'm pitching this to my wife because that's what happened <laughs> um oh that's it oh yeah i got engaged we didn't talk about that on oh the yeah yet. kevin got engaged man i had a whole joke uh, lined up for the engagement or for the yep. oh i'm sorry what yeah. was it do you want to restart <sighs> sort of but you need to be apprehensive about the engagement oh we got engaged no, god damn it! Never mind. It's not gonna work. <laughs> how, how, what was? I'm really interested now. About telling them that you were engaged. It's fine. Don't worry oh, about it. Oh. The joke was gonna be, you have conceived and you are pregnant, but oh. it won't work now. Oh, I see. It was gonna be a classic misdirect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kevin's got news, but he's really shy to tell you. Yeah, I don't know if I should tell him here. You do oh, it, or I will. I, see. I don't want to do it. Kevin's pregnant. What? That's not it. He's a liar. Also, that was gonna be <laughs> that was gonna be the the line. He's a liar. Also, I like that. That's yeah, good. I mean you. Uh, so there's a boy or a girl. Girl <laughs> that I am engaged to. He's clever. <laughs> uh, Caught him. Yeah, I'm engaged. I did already talk about it on a crack back. Oh, did you? And nobody said you're welcome or not you're welcome, but congratulations. <laughs> Nobody said congratulations. Oh my god. So fuck everybody. Uh, not if you're engaged, sir. <laughs> that list has narrowed. <laughs> that list has narrowed. Anyway, 
anything else that you want to talk about with Theros? Nope. Do you want to open some throne? Yeah, dude. So, my drafts of throne have not gone my way recently. I had one that went super well. Um, What'd you draft? I don't remember. I, I honestly do not remember. I keep getting. I went six and one or yeah. six and three. Excuse yeah, me, dude. Did you put it up? Uh, no. Okay. I was doing it at work when I wasn't supposed to be doing it. So. Yeet! You heard it here first, folks. Um, Kevin doesn't care about work. <laughs> well, I got Giant Killer, which is just a great card, so I'm gonna take that. Oh, off. dude! I got Piper of the Swarm. Oh, dude! Sweet is... card fan fucking fantastic i love that card um <coughs> also got drowned in the lock which good card might out of this set might be the card that lasts the longest um you think so probably drowned in the lock is so good yeah it is very good choose one just kidding you all know what it does um <laughs> yeah drowned in the lock is great i yeah. think yeah fuck it <laughs> you can play it in modern even like yeah you can it's that good you absolutely can um piper of the swarm this baby i also did get uh inspiring veteran which is a really good night card but giant killer's just so good like it's a two and one already and it's a tapper tapping it i like that yeah i love giant killer um, um i did draft oh it was i do remember it was green white adventures uh was the deck that i drafted nice. and i got very very lucky in that like last new pick of pack three uh i got the the one one that draws a card every time you cast a creature with an adventure oh yeah you know the talking about? open wall keep keeper yes uh got one of him yep. which i proceeded to draw almost every game God. which was great the luck of the very lucky luck of the draw is really lucky. Um, yeah hey and then i did first pick a giant killer uh which yep. did some major work so I that makes sense. I had a good game. Um, I also went seven and one, uh, in a War of the Spark draft, which was fun. Did they do eight rounds? It's seven. How did you go seven and one? Six games, lost one, then one seven. Oh well, we okay, cool. Do you see yeah. what I'm saying? You lost a match. I lost a match, but not a game. Well, no, they're best of one. You play one. But there's game. seven games. If you win, so you can lose up to three times. Right. And if you lose three times, you're out. Oh, so okay. I went six games, lost I've one game. I've obviously never not lost three then, times. <laughs> clearly. Yeah, um, that's true. You've not lost three times? Yeah. I've also only drafted War once, but. War is like a lot easier than Throne, in my opinion. Yeah. It's... Um, Throne's a little bit weird for me still. Like, I, I get it. I've I've done okay with it, but like. It's very hit or miss for me. I'm not as consistent. Yeah. Uh, War of the Spark was much more consistent. consistently bad. Dude, didn't you like go 0-3 or something like that in a draft? No, I've never not won one game. Oh, okay. But I definitely have like dropped the ball. See, <laughs> I, I thought it was in like the one of the gameplays that we put up recently. No, I've always oh, okay. won at least one. Okay. One. I... <laughs> There was, oh shit, what was it? There was one. Oh, that was the gameplay that got corrupted, though. There were like uh, two games in a row um, that I just, my mulligans did not work out. Yeah. So I mulled to five to, uh, back to back and just oh, that ate feels it. so bad. Yeah. It's a shame you didn't get to see that. There was one game that really, Krinko. Oh. Dude, Krinko is amazing. Very, very good. Y'all, if you're not um, playing Krinko in standard red yeah. decks right now, you suck. <laughs> Krinko's, Krinko's great. sweet. Yeah, yeah. Must like answer card. Yeah, definitely. Um, cool. Well, anything else you want to talk about? About mm. uh, magic-related, not magic-related? 2020 goals? Anything like that? For magic in general? I mean, it can For be me. anything that you want to do. Anything you want to talk about. This is your moment. Use it. This is my moment? My life has been leading to this. Yeah. This is it. It'll all downhill from here. It never gets better than right now. Sitting in a room. Cough. In my throat. Pee in the belly. Handful of cards. Why is your pee in your belly? Because <laughs> we've been recording a podcast. 
You don't store and I drink pee in 20 your belly. ounces of water. <laughs> it doesn't. Where in do your you belly. store it? In my bladder, right? Like, <laughs> and where's your bladder, Kev? Not in my belly. <laughs> I beg to fucking differ. When you say belly, I'm literally thinking stomach, not... No, no, a belly is a region, <laughs> sir. The stomach is an organ in the belly as well. I see. Do you know how important the belly is to your existence? The gut? Your tum-tum? Well, can, Kev, can are, I... do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, no, I understand. Can I prolong this a little bit then? Because I'm really mad about something, and I need you to know. What is it? So I went to go record... Uh, today's Monday, fourth wall break. I went to go record yes, um, Tuesday, Tuesday's Crack a Pack episode. Okay. Uh, before you came over, did you to not, record this? Did you not record? Did so you not record? I recorded. Okay. Uh, did you not hit record? It no, recorded, no, no. Right. Okay. It recorded. I even had. I've. I introduced a face cam just for fun. So I have my phone nice. recording here, and okay. then I have the top down view, and then audio. Okay. Well, I you? looked. The audio was recording. Yeah. But it didn't look. It didn't look like the waveforms look here, hmm. where they're okay. filling up the space. It looked a little minuscule, and I was like, well, I'm already opening up the pack. Were like you I can't, muted? I'm going to finish it. Okay. So I was like, I got to finish the, the episode. So I went through the episode, opened up Rise of the Eldrazi, sweet, very fun set. Uh, realized that the, the audio interface was yeah. not registering as being plugged in. Mm. So okay. I like played the audio. It was from the like built in. Were you mad about that? M yeah, I was really mad about it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Because I wasted it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna post it. Because it was a cool pack. And here they are, folks. Lust for War, Curse of Wizardry, <laughs> Cadaver Imp, Emmercool's Hatcher. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> Battle Rat Shaman. That's the name of my ska band. <laughs> Daggerback Basilisk. Guard Duty. Necrolepsy. Souls Attendant. Bella Ged Scorpion. Eel Umbra. Puncturing Light. Souls for Elemental. A Swamp. An Elephant. And our Mythic Rare. Yeah. Lighthouse Chronologist. Lighthouse Chronologist. <laughs> There, I just did your fucking crack a pack. Can I pee now? <laughs> this has been It Resolves. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we're back for 2020, everybody. Get your Theros hats ready for pre-release. Play well for us in our stead because we won't be there. Um, not that we would. Just do it for us anyway. Um, Guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's it. We love you. Or listening. Welcome back to 2020. Tuning in, it doing resolves. it, however you're doing it, where you're doing it. We're going to get out of here. This, this is Kevin. My name's Will. There's been never resolved. All right, I'm going to go pee. There's, there's not a joke that's happening right now. <laughs> Stop it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs>